So in the next five minutes, I'm going to be showing you guys how you can create RESTful services using Spring Boot and get productive really fast. So let's get started. So the first thing we need to do is create a new Maven project. So if we open up your favorite IDE of choice and create a new Maven project, I'm using Eclipse and I'm going to use the Quick Start archetype as, because this is going to be a very simple and quick uh, tutorial. And once that loads in my IDE, I'm going to delete the boilerplate code that was generated from the archetype. And I'm going to open up the pom.xml and what I'm going to do is add in the Spring Boot parent dependency. And at the time of, of this video, it's 1.35. And I'm also going to bring in the Spring Boot starter web. So that's going to bring in all Spring's uh, libraries, uh, web libraries, so we can actually run the web application from our IDE. So now I'm going to update the project, bring in them dependencies. And now what I'm going to do is create a new class. So this is going to be the, the entry point of our application. So if I create a class called app in com start contract, and I'm going to annotate this class with Spring Boot application. And what we need now is a main method. And inside our main method, we're going to call spring application dot run. And we're going to pass in app.class and the arguments. So what uh, Spring Boot application is going to do is basically component scan our application and enable uh, configuration, um, automatic configuration that is. So what we need to do now is actually create our controller, which is going to service our HTTP requests. So in this I'm going to call it the contract controller. And the first thing I want to do here is define a REST controller. So that's going to say, okay, we're a controller, but also we're going to annotate every method with response body automatically. So the request, whatever we return from each method is going to be directly written to the, the response instead of Spring looking for a view resolver like tiles or a JSP. And the next thing we want to do in here is add a request mapping. And we want to, this is the base mapping. So it's always nice to just create a simple con, um, constant for this example. And we're going to say our base for the service is going to be service slash version one slash contracts. So now anything mapped to this URL pattern will automatically come into this controller to be serviced. So what we want to do now is say public contract. So we're going to return a contract, get contract. And we also, what we want to do is pass in the path, path variable. And we're going to give a contract number. And what I'm going to do then is return a new contract. And basically what I'm going to say is contract dot set name foot and contract dot set ID is going to be the contract number. I'm going to return that contract. And what I also want to do now is actually make this a method we could call. So we have to annotate this with request mapping again. And in this we're going to say okay the the value is going to be the path variable, which is going to be contract number. So now I guess what we need to do is create the contract, which is going to be similar to our like a, a data transfer object. So we'll let the IDE do the heavy lifting for us, and then we'll allow it to create a method. Um, actually, we'll create the name first. So private name private and ID. So now we have a name and an ID and then we're going to create our getters and setters fields and we'll create a two string for that buffer chain calls. So now we have our service. So all we need to do now is actually run the application. So if you run the app, it 
home cut started in three seconds. And then we'll go to the URI, which is service one slash contracts slash five. And as you can see now, it's bringing back Philip ID five, Philip ID four, as we expect. So that's how simple it is to create a service now. It's super, super quick. You can use Spring Boot. I absolutely love Spring. I would recommend everyone uses it. And it's really, really cool. So in the next video, what I'm going to be doing is showing you how you can actually write some automated integration tests to in a J unit. So you, you run in your J unit, you're going to load up uh, a local or an embedded server, and you're going to actually call it server locally and then shut that down. So that'll it'll really be a great test to have for automation. So, so that's how easy it is to create RESTful services using Spring Boot. And I would encourage everyone to actually go out and try that example. And you know, tell me what you think in the comments below. But if you like the video, subscribe to the channel, give the video a like, and don't forget to come back for more. So I'll see you next time.